Hey there, hi there, hold their fire familia, welcome to another Narjan Reacts. And this we're reacting to the Dragon Prince Season 2, Episode 3. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Book 2, Sky, Chapter 3, Smoke and Mirrors. Okay, isn't generally smoke and mirrors like tricks, like a parlor trick kind of thing? So I wonder, does that mean that there's going to be a trick in this episode? Like something's going to appear one way, but when it... If I remember, smoke and mirrors was like... I know it's like a trick or something, but was it like smoke and mirrors where it's like a distraction while something else is going on? Or was it like you fall for something that like it appears one way, but it, it's actually something else? I don't know. Whatever's got to do with the, the mage. Even though we have um, Soren and Claudia with them all. Viren. How long are you spending just sitting in front of this mirror? All I can think about is how I'm going to tell Ezrin our father is gone. I'm so, so now they don't have a mom or a dad. So... Did he just kind of float for a moment? I'm sorry, was that an animation error? Okay, no, he kind of like stumbled a bit. I was like, it looked like he almost floated. I'm like, was that an animation error? Yeah, telling little brother would be the hardest. Now, is he gonna have the same dilemma as Rayla where he's gonna not wanna tell Ezrin because he feels like, like, is he gonna get to know what it felt like for Rayla not wanting to tell him? I love how Zim is sleeping with bait. Rayla looks so moody. What happened? What did he do? Protective brother. <laughs> Protective brother mode. Then how come you're all weep ridden? <laughs> weep, weep ridden. <laughs> I've never heard crying described that way. Because you're my sister, as I you care. Know, I'm, I'm always here for you to punch someone or whatever you need. And it, it's Soren being good big brother in his own way. <laughs> I need to know that all this won't get in the way of doing this. What you need to do. It won't. I can do it. Callum would never hurt me, but me hurting him, that's another story. Just kidding. Claudia, I don't think intends to hurt him that way. It's Soren that's there to do an accident. Callum? He's still Good awake. Morning, I had another weird dream. Oh. I was running from that giant hippo. Oh! Bait just shoved Zim off! Hey! Running from that giant hippo? That's so mean, Bait! The one made of taffy, remember? What? Wow. And then Bay goes back to sleep. It was the baker, the one who didn't like me. Oh. He'd like you if you stopped stealing yeah. his jelly tarts. <laughs> he said I was wanted for crimes against dessert. And to me, <laughs> crimes against dessert. He was right. I was delicious. <laughs> let let Ezra have his hor his horrifying sweet nightmares. Let's go for a walk. I have something to tell you. So, Ezra. I wanted to talk to you about life Dad. Oh, and life. growing up. And oh God. How sometimes is this a talk about sandwiches? No, 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 no. Peanut no, butter sandwiches? That. No, definitely not that. Uh, uh, Birds and the bees. <laughs> Ezra, for a long time, I treated you like a little kid, and I mean, he that is. wasn't fair. You've grown up so much, and I'm really proud of you. Oh. I'd be like, what's yeah. wrong? <laughs> Why are you being nice to me like this? Sometimes. I know everyone's counting on me to teach Zim how to fly, but that's just the start. Someone's gonna have to teach him all the. Why would you sigh in relief? I'd be kind of like hope, hope, hopeful that he kind of figured out on his own that their dad was dead. <laughs> so if you haven't break it to him. Things he's supposed to do. Unless Callum intends on not telling him. Me and Rayla probably bait. Probably. But I really wish Dad was here. I keep wondering what he Speaking would do. Speaking about what him. he would say to Nothing is. I just really miss him too. Especially now that he knows he'll never be able to talk or hug him again. He's going to be able to relate to rela relate to Rayla with this. He definitely is. I couldn't do it. I couldn't tell him. Tell him. And I understand why you couldn't tell me. 
When you care about someone, it's hard to hurt them. Even mm -hmm. when what you're telling them is the truth. He's really gone. Yay, they're hugging! Even though it's sad and angsty, it's a... It's a... Supportive hug? <laughs> I see those glowy star-like hands that remind me of a certain pair of hands from the intro. So is this the elf that we see open up the map in the intro? It's gotta be, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah. Star elf? I don't think... Moon shadow elf? No, no. When Soren said that dad wanted us home, you knew he was lying. Yeah. Unless yeah. maybe Soren was also trying to protect our feelings. All right. He definitely seems like a thoughtful, sensitive, feelingsy, protecty kind of guy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> He's a dunderhead. We, don't have we can't go home with you. Oh. I guess we're just got to take you by force then. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, your dad is going to be really disappointed. Soren, what is wrong with you? Do what you want. Really, Soren? Ah! Yes, attack him. Oh! Stupid moths. Hey, don't cut the moths. I'm sorry, Callum. I have something I need to give you. In private. Oh. Uh. All right. I'm Rayla right now. <laughs> it's like, pardon? So, uh, closed door? Open door? What's, uh, what, what are you, uh? Uh, closed is fine. Closed. Good. Okay. I have. You didn't open it. <laughs> Why would I do that? It's for you. I respect your privacy. No. I mean, for the record, I could have opened it and pretty easily resealed it with magic. Wait, did you? Did I? We may never know. But wow. No, okay. No. <laughs> so no, I don't think I'm ready yet. But thank you. I want to know what it's in there. So, I guess this is goodbye. She gonna put a spell on? Zim, come on! You loved it in there as an egg. Uh, he's not an egg anymore. <laughs> he can't fly yet, but he should be safe in. Wow, he's a fast little bugger. Hey, how'd you? Bates like, okay, my turn. He's like, my spot. <laughs> Actually, Claudia really understands how important it is to get Zim back to Zadia. Oh, that's surprising. surprising. She understands it so well that she and Soren want to come with us. What? That is the worst possible plan. How can we figure out if it's help or a trap? Pretend to fall for their trap? Go along with it for now? The fa? Who's Rayla? I'm sorry. Were you meditating or something? No. So you're done. Good. We're leaving. <laughs> She's just like, yeah. What is it now? <laughs> Consider the half moon. You already did this. Oh, have I? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Do I have another idiom to do for this? There is something you can do for me. Is she gonna do some kind of illusion trick or something to make them like come out and be like through the truth to come out? Oh, yeah. mm. Soren, you're always exercising, stretching, yeah. whatever. It will be lonely. Quiet, but lonely without you. <laughs> Quiet, I like. Lonely, not so much. <laughs> I'll miss you. What right. what I'm plan did Rayla come up with whatever. with the beige? They're staying awfully far back. Yes, there's no other way. Good. I knew it. And what the signal is me attacking the elf. Uh, let me just go around this bush corner and see if I can find some berries or something. Something, something. You're not really going to be this easily. <laughs> he is. He is. 
Moonberries? Oh no, it's a trap. Yep. But why? I'm so shocked. We were friends. Sorry, but I love how unsurprised Rila really is. She's like, oh no. <laughs> like seriously, sorry. No. I'm just a nice guy and people get the wrong idea sometimes. Uh -huh. You don't speak sarcasm so good, do you? No. No, I do not. <laughs> no, I, let me see if it's it. He would be the kind of person that you could say, wow, you are so strong and handsome. And he'd be like, thanks. And you're just like. What are you going to do, Claudia? What, are you going to bind them? Did she? I'm sorry, did they just watch these two iron snakes come from far away and they just stood there and stared at them until they wrapped... Okay, I know you guys have faster reflexes than that. Hey, don't you ch catch them! Oh, he tripped on his wing. Is she gonna look right at him? I think she knows he's watching. Oh, yeah, she knows. Yeah. Is she gonna break the connection? You can't see me. Hmm. What? You're running away? No. I have to do what's right. I have to take you back home. You sure that's right? Please don't give me the silent treatment, Callum. Say something. Say you hate me. Say anything. Silence speaks more than words at this point. Oh, is he fake? Oh no, they're fake! <laughs> Illusion! Something's wrong. This is a trick. A trick? I was gonna bring out to him like, there's no way Rayla didn't let them in on this, right? And say, you know what? Trust me with this. We'll test them. And then, yeah, okay. That explains why they fell for the snakes coming. I was like, there's no way they just watched them from like 20 feet away, approached them, and then just stood there and let them coil and wrap them up. No. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. There you go. Did she hide Callum and Ezra? Oh. Oh. Whoa. Illusions. What? You're saying they're not real? That's what, That's what an illusion is. is. <laughs> hey, don't attack the little girl! Soren! Hey! Okay, I know she's playing around, but he's intending to cut her. Oh! <laughs> they're riding the phoenix! What are you doing? Oh, the fudge? Is the mage gonna step in? Claudia, please don't do this. Claudia, are you gonna let him go? Stop. Let them go. Oh, that him. Fly away, fly away! Well, that trust is broken. Oh yeah, that's right. Bye, Alice. Bye, Ava. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, don't, don't. I wish I wasn't. I'm sorry. He's gonna be like, who do I trust anymore? You know, my my trust radar is off. <laughs> what are you looking for, Viren? Like information? She's gotta know he's there. I think. She knows, right? She knows. You know you're gonna pay for this, traitor. Traitor? You're the General traitors. Maya sent me to protect the princess of Catullus, and you just tried to kidnap them. Everyone who votes Corvus is a traitor. Raise their hand. Slap it down. Oh. Two against one, traitor. We betrayed our friends, and it was all for nothing. That's right, they have Zim, don't they? It wasn't for nothing. 
Look! The dragon. <laughs> we still have the dragon. Is it something else? Please tell me it is. It's not in Zim. Please be like a... S yes! That's <laughs> I was like, there's no way they would leave Zim behind. Yeah, if it was Zim in there, he'd be making all those puppy whining noises. Little cutie patootie. So cute. They're high up. No. <laughs> He's not happy though. I mean, he liked Claudia, so that's really hurtful. I didn't. I didn't think Claudia and Sora would take action that fast. Oh, oh, okay. Ezrin's dream. <laughs> Zim and Bay eating pasta. Viren falling asleep in the chair. How do you not wake up with back problems, my guy? I fall. I fall asleep in this chair and had like. A sore back when I woke up. How do you fall asleep in like a wooden stiff chair? Um, Claudia's bracelet. Oh my god, is that freaking the mage having an arm wrestle like three of her? <laughs> freaking Claudia tricking Soren with that tentacle thing. All right, well, let me get into my thoughts.
Okay, so my thoughts for that episode. Um, let's see. For the plot, I like that. I, like I said before, I was expecting them to... Uh, okay. What it was is I was expecting possibly the truth of their intentions like to come out in this episode, but after like I saw that they were going to tag along with uh, with with Callum and Rayla and Ezran, I thought, okay, this may go on for like a few episodes where they act like they're, you know, gain their trust more and everything, gain Rayla's trust and then backstab them. But the fact that freaking Soren immediately wanted, wanted to enact his plan, like, like not long after they just like set off on their journey, like what? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, I feel bad for Claudia and Callum and the more Callum than Claudia because like Claudia, I, I, she must really believe in the cause because for her to be like, you know, it's for your own good to take him back. It's like, definitely she's listening to Viren. Um, when it comes to that, I mean, both her and Soren, like Soren, Soren, I'm sorry. I want to really like him, but the fact that he was willing to cut down like, wanting to cut down Ellis and Ava. Just because they trick tricked him? Or tricked them? Like, it's almost like he's such an airhead that he doesn't know really right from wrong. So, it's kind of like... He, he's like a true soldier that just does what he's told. And he doesn't really have any second questions about it. Like, I mean, we saw him question it. Um... When Viren originally asked him to, you know, cause an accident for the princes. And he was like, you know, but they're my longtime friends kind of thing. And, and, he, and that kind of stuff. But, like, now it's almost like he has no qualms. Like, he doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's Claudia, you could see, felt guilty for um, trying to, you know, like, when she thought she caught Callum and Ezrin and Zim. Like, she felt bad for having to catch Zim. And then when she trapped uh, Callum and Ezrin, she's like, you know, speak to me and stuff, you know. So she felt, she feels guilty. Whereas Soren doesn't seem to feel bad at all. Like, the only time he seemed to hesitate was when he was going to cause that zipline accident. But even then, he only, like, he only, he only seemed to, like, hesitate a little bit. But he was intending to go through with it. And that's to kill, like, to kill them. Or Ezrin. That's not, that's to bring him back. Whereas Claudia is trying to bring him back. So. And that's what I'm curious, too. Soren's goal is to kill the princes, whereas Claudia is to bring them back. So how's that supposed to work? Was Soren going to, like, wait till they caught them and then secretly kill them or cause an accident while Claudia wasn't paying attention? Like, I honestly don't know how that was going to work. Um, like, obviously, they're kind of weird. Like, she's kind of weird because she said, we're going to do it my way first and then your way to get them to come back. But I don't think Claudia is aware that Soren's goal was to kill them. So... Hmm. I don't know. That uh, Soren for now for me is a character I don't really care for. Like honestly, like he's funny at times, but he's more like a an annoyance. <laughs> like I wanna like him, but he just so like there's nothing there's not many qualities on him that I care for. Uh whereas Claudia, I I definitely which why do I feel like they're setting it up where she's the one that we feel for and like oh you know Claudia Claudia she means well. Um She's being steered down the wrong path kind of thing, but she means well and she at least feels guilty for bringing the princes in and that kind of stuff. But then she's going to be the one that turns later on. Uh, I wonder if Soren's going to turn into more of the, like, character we, like, he changes later on because of what happens with Claudia. I don't know. Like, I mean, we saw, okay, we saw in this episode that he does, he's like the protective brother. Like, as soon as he saw Claudia was upset, he's like, he hurt you? And he was about ready to, like, go after Callum for doing that so he obviously cares but it's just I don't know he just feels he really does feel like an airhead <laughs> with stuff like it very influenced uh influenceable uh he could be influenced very easily kind of thing um I don't know I don't know what's Soren. right now he's just okay for me <laughs> uh, uh, yeah it's hard with him right right now I definitely prefer all the other characters over Soren. Um, even Viren, <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, but yeah, uh, the plot for this episode I enjoyed. Um, I do like that it wasn't, it wasn't dwelled on when it comes to, like, 
Rayla not being not telling Callum, you know, about their uh, King Hero's, you know, King Hero being dead. And I'm glad it. It's actually nice that they had um, Callum go through what Rayla uh, went through, so that way he could understand. Like he was, he wore. He took a step in her shoes and realized, oh yeah, it isn't that easy to tell the person you care, you know, because you tell them something that's gonna hurt them. That's not easy to do, especially something this serious. Um, so he's like, I understand, and I like that. I like it wasn't like a dwell, like a whole episode of her going, you gotta understand, and him going, no, I refuse to, you know, why couldn't you tell me, and blah blah blah, and that kind of drama, whatever. So I kind of like they. It's like they had their disagreements. He said, just leave me alone. That's him alone. He thought about it. He, you know, tried, wanted to tell Ezra really bad, but he couldn't. So then he could relate to Rayla and then have the talk with her and say, you know, I understand how you feel. That was nice. I like that. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see what happens in the next episode. Because now, so now Claudia and Soren have the tracker guy. Um... They're off flying, so then obviously I wonder how far the 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 ice phoenix, cross phoenix is gonna take them. Um, so I wonder is it gonna take them all the way back to uh, where the egg belongs or where Zim belongs, or is it gonna drop them off somewhere? Because I can't imagine. <sighs> I mean, maybe it does, but I, I can't imagine the mage going without her ice frost phoenix for that long. If it's like super far away so um yeah uh but anyway plot was great characters were great i just saw it just kidding he had his funny moments here <laughs> uh animation was great uh music was great um but yeah those are my thoughts for this episode i hope you enjoy this reaction if you like early access to my full unedited reactions go join my patreon link in the description and pin comment below but anyway have a wonderful morning after night and keep running bright see ya